So when you go to a place like google.com and enter a search query, you are returned results based on that query. So for example, if we do a search here, for example, for banana, that's an interaction between the data stored by Google and you when you entered that query. The data is returned to us and it's presented nicely so it makes sense and looks good here in our browser. So an API is quite similar. It's an interaction between some data source and our program or web application. When you use an API to extract data, you won't get it nicely formatted like these search results. You'll get basically plain text, so something like this here. And this plain text is lightweight, so there's no extra HTML or CSS or anything like that to download. And it gives us more control over just the plain JSON data from the API or whatever we are looking at. So let's take another look at APIs with some diagrams. We have these websites hosting their data on various servers. I have these three just as examples. We interface with them regularly using Google to search for things either on our phone, desktop, laptop, or whatever device we may be, we may be using. And the same thing for Facebook and Reddit. We view nice and easy to interact with the web pages. But what about our application that we are building? What if we want to access the data on these servers? If we want to connect to these services, we can't do it like I mentioned in the previous example via their web or mobile app. So basically what an API allows us to do is this. It opens up an interface that our application can connect to via our app. We can use that particular company's services in our app and add more interactivity to our app or extra features through this API that the company offers. In our examples, we're using a JSON API to do this. So basically, if we want to access any service outside of our own app's code, we access an API of another company. Sometimes you have to pay money to use some APIs, but so far what we're going to look at are freely available API in the form of JSON data. So hopefully you have a pretty good understanding of how APIs work and how we can use that JavaScript to connect to the API and grab, in our case, the JSON data to use in our own apps.